Greetings fellow captains. Today we'll talk about a relatively new map. Estuary was added to the game with update 0.5.6 and it provoked many discussions. The presence of a multitude of small islands allows you to implement very interesting tactical solutions. Let's try and figure out how to win on this original map. This map is intended for Tier 7 to Tier 9 battles and, compared to other high-tier maps, is quite modest in size. Two game modes are available for Estuary, Domination with four control points and Standard Battle. The enemy base is so close that even experienced captains can be confused when they play on this map for the first time. A rush attack around the central island in the beginning of a battle may end your voyage very quickly. But your team shouldn't disperse to the flanks either. The best tactic would be to leave behind a pair of cruisers with surveillance radar to protect the base, while the rest of the team attacks the flanks. Thanks to their ability to fire over the island, this pair will compel your adversaries to move to the flanks. In addition, they have a chance to sink a few of the most daring enemy destroyers and, by the end of the battle, they may become the key to victory. The left flank is a natural playground for maneuverable and quick-firing ships. The short engagement distance allows them to fully realize the potential of their main battery guns. And the islands at C2-D3 and G2-F3 provide good cover from the enemy team's shells. Destroyers with short-range torpedoes have the ability to get close enough for a guaranteed hit, while those with long-range torpedoes can send them through the straits between the islands. Battleships should stay away from the heat, leaving some room to maneuver. It's more important to provide cover for allies at C2-C4 and H2-H4. The situation is a bit different on the right flank. Small islands don't provide enough cover. That's why battleships must act as a shield for light ships. But without proper protection, these sluggish giants will become an easy target for aviation and destroyers. Experienced aircraft carriers will follow the formation, hiding behind islands on the flanks, or staying in open water slightly away from the main allied force. This way, they achieve the highest efficiency, while the free space will allow them to quickly withdraw if there's any danger. On the contrary, if you hide, you'll lose the ability to quickly retreat and, if your allies are defeated on the flank, you have a high chance of becoming easy prey for the enemy team. And the aviation efficiency at this distance will be quite low. In the standard battle mode, if you were unable to quickly dominate a flank, it's wise to fall back and ask for assistance from the cruisers protecting the base. Your ability to fire through lines E and F along the central island will most likely be a surprise for the opponents breaking through the flank. But for your team, it may become the feather that tips the balance in your favor. If you manage to break through a flank, you should concentrate your further efforts on getting to the enemy base. The flanks have strategic importance for the domination mode. The team that controls them often wins. If your team successfully captures flanks and points of interest, the cruisers protecting the base should rush to the enemy center. But only if they are not opposed by heavy enemy ships. If all goes well, this move guarantees victory. At the moment, Estuary has one of the most difficult and interesting gameplay scenarios. The tactics that we've described are only one of the possibilities. Estuary gives you full freedom to improvise, but don't forget to consider the team lineups when making decisions. Remember, control over the center guarantees success. Good luck in battle, Captains!